All right, a couple of non on the field issues I want to get to. I haven't written about this yet. It happened last week, January 11, I believe, was the date for the oral argument in the Nevada Supreme Court over the question of whether or not John Gruden's lawsuit against the NFL and Commissioner Roger Goodell would be forced to arbitration. I saw that it was raised during oral argument that, hey, NFL, isn't it problematic for the commissioner to be the person who is resolving these disputes against the league? And of course it is. It's amazing they've gotten away with it for as long as they have. They rig the system so that whenever there is a claim made against one of the teams or the league itself, the commissioner or someone the commissioner designates resolves it. And even if it's someone the commissioner designates, rarely does that designee do anything other than what the league would want. Because if you start doing that, guess what? You're not going to be designated very often to resolve those issues. So John Gruden, who isn't prevented from his contract from going to court, the NFL has tried to cobble together some argument under the NFL's constitution and bylaws. I think it's weak. My bias is I think the whole thing is a joke. I've called it over and over again, a secret rigged kangaroo court. They may not like that at 345 Park Avenue. And I don't care because it is a secret rigged kangaroo court. They do want to keep the media and the fans from seeing what the evidence is. They want to make sure that the outcome is favorable to them. They don't want to be held accountable by a judge or a jury. They want to determine the fate of their own business and they want to resolve their own disputes because they're going to win. I mean, just think about it. If you're married, if you had an agreement with your spouse that you have the power to resolve any disputes that may arise. That would be a great power. That would be great to have. I have the exclusive power. Me or my designee, who I will pay to resolve this on my behalf, has the power to resolve any and all disputes within the confines of the marriage. It's, just, it's, it's not sensible. It's not fair. And it's amazing to me that more people don't call it out. And it's either it's a nuance that people don't understand or, you know, People don't want to make big shield upset. They're either on the payroll or they want to be on the payroll or they might be on the payroll someday. I might be looking for a job someday and maybe I'll need a job with NFL media. So I better not say anything that they would ever keep a list with my name on it as someone who should never be hired. And I know that sounds weird, but it's real. It's real. You have a lot of punches pulled by a lot of reporters who are holding out hope or at least keeping the, the potential open for eventually working directly for Big Shield. All right, similarly, we're nine, 10 days into the coaching carousel. A lot of names have been requested for interviews. A lot of interviews have happened virtually. Brian Flores, the Vikings defensive coordinator and former Dolphins head coach, his name hasn't come up at all. Oh, by the way, he's got a lawsuit against the NFL. Oh, you know what? I forgot to say something. Let me, let me rewind on Gruden and then I'll get to Flores. It was a great setup too. And I just screwed it up because I'd forgotten to say what I wanted to say about Gruden. The Saints might hire him to be the offensive coordinator. They fired Pete Carmichael. There was a report previously that Gruden could end up joining the offensive staff. Well, the, the job that's open is offensive coordinator. He worked directly with quarterback Derek Carr in Las Vegas, and it could be Gruden. That's a gutsy move by the Saints because the NFL isn't going to be happy about it, even though it shouldn't matter. And there's a knee-jerk reaction by a lot of fans when they see that someone who has sued the NFL believes they're being blackballed or not getting a fair chance back in, the attitude is, well, damn straight. Why would they? Why would they give an opportunity to John Gruden? He's suing him. Folks, the law requires the efforts of people to make valid legal claims against their employer to be respected, and it can't be held against them. If it is, that becomes the second lawsuit. And in my own experience, the second lawsuit is a lot easier to prove than the first one because once the jury understands the law prohibits it, it's a lot easier for the jury to get their brains around the idea as to why the employer would retaliate against someone who dares to sue because the knee-jerk reaction for most people is, I don't want anybody in here who has sued me. Oh, the law requires me to not consider that in making promotion decisions, hiring decisions, firing decisions, any decisions in the workplace? Well, if the law requires me not to do it, and I could see why someone would do it, and they're putting on some evidence suggesting that maybe they did it, it's a lot easier to get the average person on a jury 
to conclude that there was some sort of retaliation. So, so will there be an effort to keep John Gruden out of the Saints? Will the Saints go forward regardless? Giant middle finger to 345 Park Avenue if it happens. Keep an eye on that. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.